All right, next up, systems 21. For systems 21, I tried solving using the Darcy equation on page 460 of the reference handbook, and my answer is off. Could you help solve this using the equation on 460? So I know I went wrong. Here's an attached photo of the calculations. Love the attached photo of the calculations. Super helpful to have your starting point to, uh, to kick off the problem and, and kind of troubleshoot this. So um, I did give the feedback that um, you can use the, sort of the ordinary Darcy equation and we already agreed that, you know, yes, that works and it's clear in the, in the written solution and the video solution. So we won't belabor that. The goal then is to reconcile what's going on with the equation on 460 and hey, shouldn't we be able to get the same answer using that? So let's go straight to 460. Here's the equation. This says that the friction loss should be 12 FL over hydraulic diameter times density times this term uh, velocity over 1097 squared. And unlike most equations where we write out all the units and we make sure everything cancels, this is kind of one of those pre-formulated equations where we put everything in, in the specified units in the first place. And provided we do that, the answer, if I could say, kind of magically comes out to inches of water, which wouldn't necessarily be the case if we didn't do a bunch of unit conversion along the way. So the name of the game becomes, we're gonna put in a dimensionless friction factor. We're gonna put in a duct length in feet. We're gonna put a hydraulic diameter in inches. And as long as we follow all these rules with the units on the input side, it should theoretically come out to give us inches of water for that friction loss. So let's try uh, substituting it in. All right, so that formula is delta P sub F, and that has to come out in, uh, or at least it's, it ought to come out in inches of water gauge if we put everything in the right way. 12 F L over the hydraulic diameter D sub H times the density rho times this term velocity over 1097 squared. And a couple of notes as we kind of go into this, this is meant to go in in inches. This is meant to go in in feet per minute per minute velocity. The density is meant to go in in pounds per cubic foot. And the friction factor is unitless and the length is meant to go in in feet. So let's take a shot at substituting for this problem. We have 12 times the friction factor 0 0.015 times the length of the pipe. And I think this might have been the source of the confusion on here, um, dividing by 100. We, we do want to include the 100 feet because we're finding the pressure loss per 100 feet. So we're going to assume that the length of the duct is 100 feet. And this will give us the pressure loss per 100 feet if we do that. That, that might have been it right there. Uh, and then there was another division by 100 shown here that I don't know that that is founded. I, I, don't, I don't know what the grounds for that is. So I think when we get rid of those two, that's going to change it by about uh, 10 to the fourth. But let's see. So uh, hydraulic diameter in inches. And uh, we both separately, you, you did the work here, um, showing that this turns out to be about 12 inches and you're saying that's about a foot, I'm fine with that. I'm happy to take that as being about a foot, we'll call it 12 inches. And basically these will just cancel. Now the density, which for air is typically about 0 0.075. And I believe you made the same assumption for that as well. And then for the velocity, you had worked that out to be 1273 feet per minute, and I agree. And that's divided by 1097, and that quantity has to be squared. And if all of those things happen, 
I'm getting 0.151 inches water gauge. And again, that's per 100 feet. If we exclude this term, this 100 feet here, then we would get the pressure loss for one foot. So that, you know, and it's linear. So for um, 100 feet, the pressure loss is going to be 100, 100 times what it would be for one foot. So I think the answer that uh, had come out was basically the same number, just, you know, four orders of magnitude less.